so the Olympics is scheduled for Friday, July 26th through to August 11. All right, 2024. And as of such, with the introduction of an opening ceremony, it sparked lots of criticism from persons worldwide. And as of such, the Forbes breaking news report was given by Mary Whitfield Roloffs. All right, and it entitled Olympics organizers apologize after drag queen last supper slammed by conservatives the first paragraph states and i quote organizers of the paris olympics have apologized for any offense caused by a skit in the games opening ceremony friday that featured drag stars in what many viewers saw as a parody of leonardo da vinci famous the last supper hmm. so with that persons became irated all right so the skit saw the lgbtq plus icon barbara butch donna silver halo like headdress while seated in the center of a table with other drug artists on a footbridge while parading athletes floated underneath on the scene. No. Though organizers said this kit was an interpretation of the Greek god, the Last Supper were immediately spotted and criticized by those who said it was an offensive depiction of a classic religious scene in the Last Supper. Now, the following information was given by a spokesperson for the Paris Games, Miss Anne Descamps. She told reporters on Sunday there was never an intention to show disrespect to any religious group and Thomas Jolly, creative director of the opening ceremony, instead hoped to celebrate community tolerance, let me say that again, instead hoped to celebrate community tolerance. But Jolly on Friday said the scene wasn't meant to be a direct recreation of the Last Supper and that the group sitting around the table was instead a celebration of feasting and French gastronomy. He said my wish isn't to be subversive nor to mock or to shock but most of all i wanted to send a message of love a message of inclusion and not at all to divide no listen to this keenly all right this is with regards to the opening ceremony. The opening ceremony is the single event that introduces the games. The host country, the iconic messages. So the opening ceremony is expected to do three things. One, introduce the games the host country and the iconic messages don't forget that third point the iconic messages so they had messages to convey 
And because they had messages to convey, they had to do what they had to do. So continue to listen. So she said, and that is the spokesperson for the Olympic Games, she said the scene was generally well received but that organizers are, of course, really, really sorry to anyone who was offended. Do you think they are really sorry? Do you think they really are? You decide on that. A successful opening ceremony generates a positive media response in the critical early days of the games. Often, a well-regarded opening ceremony sets the tone for the whole games and helps positively define the host city and host country's image through the broadcast to the world so remember you know this was not just being heard live in the host country this was being heard or broadcast worldwide so everyone that was watching live and even after they saw the same ceremony all right no Olympic Games ceremony no just just happen so all right the host country must follow certain guidelines or certain principles given to them by the IOC which is the International Olympics Committee all right so the host country is given and is aware of what is known as the host city contract operational requirements and this has been effective since september of 2020 15. so it's every four years so they had enough time to prep and prepare themselves all right so in order for the host city to follow these operational requirements they definitely have to go through the requirements related to all olympic ceremonies all right and one of them is organization and scope of the ceremony followed by the creative approach and vision the concept and detailed production master plan protocol elements for ceremonies music for ceremonies preview of ceremonies coordination with obs all right and so they have to follow all of those requirements when they have followed those requirements, they then have to submit the information for approval. And so, them coming out now and apologizing, saying that they don't mean to create or any any mayhem or be disrespectful they already know what they were doing and i'm not saying that persons can't apologize of course people can apologize and in apologizing yes you should forgive them but at the same time you're not going to behave or seem as if you doesn't have any sense. 
because they have their message to convey they have the audience that they are trying to convey the message to and then they also have a necessary set of audience that they want to convince and so it doesn't mean much for them they have to do what they have to do and that is how they're going to do it so in coming out and making an apology that's just trying to do damage control but the damage is already done yes we can forgive but their agenda or their message is already out there it has already affected who it is supposed to affect and it has already convinced or captivate those who it has already captivated and so every single Olympic Games must start off with an opening ceremony ceremony on the first day it is the principle it is the rule it is the mandate and to be honest I have I have watched a few opening ceremonies over the years and I've seen better I have seen better and so just remember that they have a message to convey and they have conveyed their message whether we are against it or not they have already conveyed their message all right it was mentioned earlier that a successful opening ceremony generates a positive media response in the critical early days of the games but from what i am seeing on social media most of the responses are definitely not positive all right persons are of the view that they will not be watching this olympics because of what was displayed in the opening ceremony persons are also of the view that this particular olympics should be boycotted so you tell me no if this generates a positive media response because based on what i am seeing so far it's all negative 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 and even though it's negative the games are there for the athletes to compete in should we allow this situation to undermine our athletes ability to excel in the Olympic Games food for thought there is definitely a right and a wrong way to do things there's also a time and place for certain things and in Jolly's report to the media he stated and I quote again most of all I wanted to send a message of love a message of inclusion 
and not at all to divide. So, everybody is entitled to their opinions. You saw the ceremony. You know the facts. You can also determine whether aspects of the ceremony depicts love, inclusion, and whether inclusion has gone too far or whether or not it has further divided the people. And aspects of that opening ceremony definitely goes against the laws and the principles of God. But based on what goes on into the planning and the execution of an opening ceremony, there is little to no reverence for God in such case. Because I was actually at an appointment on Saturday when I saw the opening ceremony. Because they had a television in the waiting area. And so... I was there watching and at, and at certain points I had to say to my daughter you see that a while ago you see that you see that a while ago there were some things in the ceremony that definitely was disgusting was disrespectful and that's just my opinion others may share my opinion yeah i can't say all of it was because there were aspects of it that i really did enjoy watching so yeah so we have to we have to separate and divide the positives from the negative all right but to be honest it could have been better but as I said before, they have a message to convey and they're going to convey their message no matter what cost. No matter how you feel, no matter how you think, they have a message to convey. Remember that you have a committee, you know. You have a committee. And so approval must go through that committee before and there's one part of it too that it doesn't surprise me at all a preview of the ceremony must be done so if they had looked into it to say oh you know people or some people would not support this or some people or some persons would find this offensive they would not have included it in it but they have their agenda and even if a few persons on the committee did not agree remember that majority vote still counts so people even though it's very sad it is what it is for us who have our faith and believe in our in in our faith we have to just stay strong that when we see these things that's not pleasing to us and that's not pleasing to god we would not be shocked by it because 
Mr. Thomas Jolly said he did, and I quote, he did not mean to shock anyone. So yes. So you can leave your comments in the comment section if you care to. And remember to leave a like on the video and share it with others. And I hope you did enjoy the conversation in this video and even the scenery.
So take care of yourselves. Until next time.